Hello everybody, hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking about my Schumacher. I know the body's not right. This is my Schumacher. Um, car, Cougar, is the uh, actual name for it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of just talk to you about it. Um, so here we go, so it has a Hobbywing Max 10, uh, as you can see there. Um... Motor hangs out the back. There it is. I don't know the exact KV, but if I do remember, it, I'll put it in the description. Um, nice shocks and stuff like that. I do need actually no, turn light. I do need a. If you see in here, hang on, let me zoom in. You see that little black spacer? I can't put my finger in there as well. Just above my my finger is. I need another one of them because every probably like fifteen minutes. This uh, metal bit at the top like pings out, and so I have the steering is like a wobbly. This tire here, this one's fine because it's got the two in it, but this one does need it. Um, so yeah, we'll try and get some footage of this as soon as I can. I have had two videos ready for it, but I just haven't downloaded them and like got them all ready to go. Um, so yeah, here's the battery that I currently use in it. It is a 2S 5000 milliamp battery. Um, yeah, very nice battery. Not had any complaints with it at all. Um, yeah, pretty standard 2S and all the instructions and how to store and stuff. But I've read that a couple of times just so I know exactly what I'm doing with it. There you are. So when you put it in, so the tubes are the colour for the battery. So black and red. And then you put, obviously, black and red on here, which is very nice. Radio, done by radio. I did a review on this three days ago. I did have the Futaba TBHR, the one that I use in um, most of my cars. I did have that in there, but I decided to change it and go for this because I prefer to have something else. And now I can run all three of my cars at exactly the same time because I've got enough radios. So, yeah, I've got one of these now. Very nice radio. Um, one problem I do have at the minute is whenever I let go of the throttle, so say I'm like full throttle and I just fully let go, the car immediately brakes. And that's a problem because it will just immediately lock up the rear axle. Because you've got to go like feed the brake on. Um, so yeah, that is a bit of a problem. So, on's there. Quite nice. And then in here, let me just lift this up. You've kind of got all your trims and stuff. But I've got that all set to what the car's on. Obviously left, right. Very nice. Gyro as well in here. I haven't tried the gyro yet. I kind of want to just like using the car how it is. And I don't want to get too like fancy and not understand too much I'm doing. Body. I have got a burgundy kind of... Or very de um, dark orange body as well. But I prefer the black personally. Um, it's one that I mainly use. So yeah, nice inside there as well. Um, what else have I got? Oh yeah, my LiPo guard as well that I obviously store the battery in over here. Very nice car. Um, I probably use this thing once every two weeks. But recently, I've been using it a lot more often since I've just got the dumbbell reading. I'm trying to get it all sorted out. But um, I probably won't be using this now for maybe a month, so I'm trying to get the footage ready. Um, so I've recorded a video, so I'm probably gonna, you probably won't see this car for a little while um, once I get the footage already. Um, so not because it doesn't work or anything. It works fine. I've literally had it working. But I kind of got like other things that I want to try and sort out. And also, it's coming up to winter time, so now weather as well won't be as good. So... I don't know. I might get some footage of it soon, but um, highly unlikely as well. So, oh, yeah, by the way, if you wonder what's in here, it's just some eBay stuff and some doodah. And a spare pair of tyres in there as well, and exhaust and all that lot for some cars. Um, so, yeah, that's the car. Also, if we cut up back up to here. Oh, you've seen all this before, but. Um, if you want to see any of the other games, I haven't got the new F1 game yet. I'm baiting on whether or not to get it. Um, I have also got GTA and stuff like that. There's some of the games up there. So tell me what games you want to see as well. And uh, I might start doing some of these again. Because I did used to like making it. Um, one thing I do want to do on Project Cars 2 is try and do... I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't, uh, look it up on YouTube. It's called Greg Murphy's Lap of the Gods. And it's an incredible lap time. It's from about... It's like early 2000s or late 90s or something like that. And it's an incredible lap where he goes around Bathurst in a V8 supercar. 
and he just blitzes it. it like gets everything dead on. And I've always wanted to attempt it, so maybe tomorrow's video or soon, I'm gonna try and do like five laps and just do a lap of the gods. By the way, if you want another chair, is uh, it's if the noise is that's my chair. Um, rust of mm, it's all right. I mean, I don't really play it to be honest. I kind of just got it. Um, so yeah. I'm going to do some flying in a minute. Um, so yeah, if you want to see, that is me from Flight Sim, just being me. Being a bit of a maniac. Alright, I'm going to leave that there for today's video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Aim for 200 subscribers as soon as we can. Um, yeah, just loving being back on YouTube, doing what I did. I do enjoy it, so. Yep. Um, I don't know when I'll next upload. I haven't got a schedule. I just kind of upload when I've got videos ready that are good enough quality for me to upload so yeah i will see you later bye